Hey Boxers, in this tutorial I'm going to learn you how you can make this awesome quest screen in just a few simple steps. So let's get started. So for this tutorial I'm working in Avinity Designer and we're simply just going to get started with the tutorial as quick as possible. So you're going to go over to file right over there and we're going to open a file over here. I have included a link in the description with a file for you to download to work off. I'm going to open my screen here. I'm going to navigate to the folder that I have for the tutorial, which is how it was made with the Minecraft quest. So we're going to be creating this screen over here. So how are we going to be creating this? Like a lame old background image is of course not working. And we want this to be included in our game. So I'm going to learn you to work with two simple tools that you really, really want to master if you're going to make 2D artworks in uh, Infinity or any other software. First of all, the pen tool. You can select it with P or in the bar. The second that you might want to master is A for the note tool or just click it so we can drag around notes. The last one that we want to master is the color picker so that we can select the right colors. So first things first, let's select all the boundaries and create the wall area, uh, like the wall screen over here. So I'm gonna select the pen tool and I'm gonna zoom in over here on the image. And I'm gonna zoom this out. I'm gonna speed this up, but you guys get the ID. If you hold shift in Infinity Designer, you can really simply create a line that is working perfectly fine with what you want to do or as, as I for example want to do. So I'm going to speed up this process and when this is, that is done I will show you guys the next step. And with that being done, we can actually go and start filling in the colors. But before we do that, we want to make use of the note tool. So I'm going to explain you quickly how that works. If we look closely over the design that I laid out, some of the lines don't properly align with the um, artwork. So I can select a note and I can drag it down to fit it better over the area where I want to fit it in and where it needs to be at. So I will do some adjustments right now to the artwork and when that is done you guys can come back to the video just watch over it and do that for yourself too make adjustments where you can to make it fit the screen and when you're done come back to the video and yeah let's, let's continue And when you're happy with the adjustments that you made, we can get into step two, which is filling the big spot with this color over here. So we're going to go over to color picker and select that color, which is going to fill a wall mark around the area. And I'm going to click this little check mark over here to deselect the area because we want to do a second part right now, which is getting this color here, the darker one to appear in the screen to make it look like there is actually some paper over there. So let's go and create it. And just as always, pause the video um, or watch the speed up and you're good to go.
and if we now select all those elements that we created or we can select them by one by one too then we can go over to actually removing their strokes by going to color then to swatches and clicking the button that will delete their strokes because we don't want to have strokes in our design it will make it look really weird and odd so let's rem remove those So if we now enable our design over what we already had, we can see that we actually have kind of a design right now. We have the elements, the kind of element over here. We can disable the background, but we will use part of the background for some extra effects that you can see over here. And of course they have this nice background in the back. And then in the main you will have your UI for your design and really simple if you wanted to fill this out you can actually leave this open as it will keep for some nice spots but you can really simply go over to your design select the layer you want it to to be so let's say you want to add at this point you can go over to your notes then select this one this layer the notes and you can start moving those areas to fit them exactly with those older areas. I'm gonna leave it like this. So the next part that we wanna do is we wanna be able to create this area where um, we have the UI elements and these kind of things pop up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group all those elements and I'm gonna call them the map. And then I'm gonna uh, stop highlighting that area and now I'm going to dive into the next point of making the text appear in the left top. You can really easily and simply do that. I will include a font that you will be needing to download in the description. It will actually be included in the zip file uh, in which the um, sample art file is included too. So yeah, you can find it there. So what are we going to be doing? Because we're going to go over to text and right over there we're going to do a text font size of around 30 and we're going to use the minecraft font for this so minecraft um we quickly get a look where do we got it we want to have minecraft uh, the top one the minecraft 10 is this and now we're going to type down poison so we can even make it a little bit bigger let's do 35 poison cloud and we can see that we can even make it a little bigger so let's make it 40 let's do select all the ui there we go 45 Let's do 42. That's perfect. So we got it on 42. Let's select this elements and use shift to directly scale down on the same axis. And then delight the map. Highlight the map. We can see that we have the poison cloud in there. So the next step is doing the description. So we will select the text again. and get it going with a size of 20 actually this is going to be a size of 15 my bad and we're going to type down find the wizard and kill him and his poison once and forever of course this doesn't look nice so what we're going to be doing is we're going to go at kill 
and press enter with shift. Then we're gonna disable the background and we're gonna go over to the cloud and by once and forever we do an enter two. We enable the map again. We go to the move tool. You can press V on your keyboard. Then we will press shift to snap it into the same area. And if we now enable our map and over the map we'll get the item we can see that we now got the item right over there so we're gonna get started with step three of this tutorial by deselecting the cloud and selecting the background Okay, so what we want to be doing right now is we want to deselect this and we want to create those buttons over here, which is really simple. We're simply going to select a square. We're going to use a color for the square, which is going to be the same color as we used for the square in there. And we're going to make the square rotate it so that it is about the same size in the same angle. Go over to the move tool, press V and move that in there, then duplicate that item two times and you can even slowly and great align it. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, hold shift, go down, align those items and if we now go back and select those and highlight them above the map we can see when we remove the background that we now also have those points on our map which is awesome so with those points we want to create a new point which is going to be size of 20 so we're going to go to text put the size on 20 and we do mission goal then let's go and put that right over there so we know, know, know the mission goal that we are having oh the mission goal and now the next step is to actually create the mission goals and you can name them for whatever you want so we're going to go over here, make the size 15 again, or actually make it 18, and then write down. And I will speed up this process so you guys can simply see my process of arranging those boxes. So at the next we're going to do a second tutorial which is going to be coming somewhere during Friday and Sunday in which we're going to create the second part of the tutorial as it will otherwise take way too long to actually create this whole art piece. For now thanks for watching make sure to hit that subscribe button hit that like button as at 10 likes we will have a secret download to the source file available to you guys for now you can only make this by following the tutorial and of course all the required things will be in the description as a download link so make sure to hit that subscribe button post a like of course post a comment with what you thought about this video and of course we will be having the next video coming coming saturday about 3d art and have fun boxing guys <laughs>